everyone, Mrs. Stonebottom and myself would like to welcome you all to the Little Blue Flies Spring Garden Tea Party. But before we get started, I would like to thank all my amazing subscribers for their wonderful comments. I am truly inspired by you all. And if you are just visiting, I invite you to subscribe and tap that bell to be notified when I post new videos. Now let's begin, shall we? Here are all the items I will be using today in my spring vignette. The stand is a new purchase from Facebook's Marketplace with a couple of my vintage teacups, a variety of mixed greens, the blackberries and lavender came from Hobby Lobby, variegated ivy, some hydrangea, a lamp, a couple floral prints, Now we will be starting with this two-tiered tray. I will be doing the buffet here shortly. Our first floral arrangement I will be putting in this gold bronzy type of vase. I will use one greenery bush I purchased from Hobby Lobby, blackberries from Hobby Lobby, and the lav lavender came from Hobby Lobby as well. It's as simple as placing one bush inside of the other and then you just weave the flowers. I don't have any moss down at the bottom because the hydrangeas that I will be placing around are going to make things quite snug. The hydrangeas were purchased from New River Pottery here in North Carolina. and I'm just sort of going to go all the way around. I'll con continue to weave the greenery and the lavender with one another. Next, I will be using this variegated pick I purchased from Michaels. It's $3.99. I'm going to place them in between the hydrangeas 
to give it more of an, a natural, free-flowing feel. the lavender in the back you will see that I'll weave that in really good Next, we will work with some blackberries. Because this is a smaller arrangement, I will be using just three picks. I'll sort of use the triangle method in this part, putting one up front and then another to the left and then to the right. Next, I will be adding this moss. This can be purchased at many of your craft stores, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. And I just place it around. It adds a very nice element. You just place it where pretty much where you like it. And here we go, the first arrangement. Next, we will be working on the floral basket. The basket was purchased from Hobby Lobby and a branch stem from Hobby Lobby. I did already cut off one piece. The blackberries. And this long twiggy stem was purchased from Hobby Lobby. I did cut it off because I am I really don't need that long piece and it's quite thick. It's hard to get it to bend. And 
added some moss down at the bottom. A greenery pick from Hobby Lobby. And because the basket is small in size, I'm just going to use a small greenery pick. A large one really is not needed for this size of arrangement. And I just went ahead and weaved it through. You will see when I make this basket, there's quite a bit of tucking and and stretching out and weaving through. Again, I like when my arrangements are just very free flowing and wild. They just go every direction. You just keep pulling and fluffing. Next, I added the twig. And now this twig branch will be added up top around the handle. And you just tie it around the handle and arch it over and tie it on the same on the opposite side. This is a fun stem to work with because there's so many different branches. Next, I just add a little piece of bark and a small little nest. The nest came from Hobby Lobby and some more moss. And there's our basket. Now to begin creating. This is the fun part. I'm going to use the tray that I just purchased this past week from Facebook's Marketplace. I just fell in love with the detail on that stand. Next I will be adding this variegated ivy. This was purchased at New River Pottery. So I tucked it under in the back on the left hand side and draped it over the tray. Next I added the lighting and I wrapped some of the ivy around the lamp base.
Next I place the floral arrangement, that cord down at the bottom that will be covered. A print was added. A basket. Love the wood element on that. A couple of the vintage teacups. Another element of light. And a bird's nest, but we're missing something with the teacups. Sweet little bunnies. They're just sitting there waiting for the tea party to begin. Down at the bottom, I added a mirror to hide those cords. Actually, it's just one cord this time. A bread basket from Hobby Lobby. I took two picks, one, the greenery came from Hobby Lobby, and the purple came from Michael's. I find it easiest to just let them dangle when I'm working with two like this, and I just weave them back and forth to get it nice and variegated. There we go. Placed it to the right hand side of the bread basket because the floral arrangement on top is to the left. So I gave balance. I tucked in Mrs. Stonebottom. Placed a print at the bottom. There is quite a glare on that. I will do my best to get a better view. And some candles, but Mrs. Stonebottom is missing something. She wanted to be dressed up for the party, so she placed on her finest rhinestones. And for the last touch, the basket draping down the side of the tiered stand.